Hello everyone, here is my workout from today. I'd like to think that this is a very special workout uh, because this brutal uh, workout was done at the end of a very long day instead of at the beginning. So yes, yes indeed. This workout was done in the evening and uh, it was actually extremely intense and I worked very hard and I just wouldn't let myself think about it. I just had to do it and turn my brain off and get it done and now I'm so relieved that it's done um, and now it's almost time for bed. <laughs> I will say that so far I have had a wonderful week learning my new job and I'm finding it very fascinating and I feel that uh, I'm really able to pay attention. It's not something I have to consciously make an effort to do. I am just happily sitting there uh, and think, and, and just my brain is literally just listening to what the instructor is saying, uh, except for when it gets to be near the end of the day and I'm sitting there and I feel like I'm going to explode because I so badly need to lift weights and I feel like I just need to like run around the entire police headquarters like like some kind of animal that's been kept in a cage so I will say that maybe from 3 p.m. onwards uh, I am kind of sitting there like oh, I, have to, I have to exercise um, so I don't envision that ever going away uh, but at least once I'm in the calm center uh, there will be standing desks so I can stand and maybe uh, just move us move a little bit more as well as I'll be on different shifts so there'll be lots of situations where I have already worked out um, and, and that kind of thing so it is just kind of like the sitting there and I, I do feel like I'm, I'm an animal that's trapped um, and that needs to bust out a million laps around police HQ but other than that, everything is running really, really smoothly and all of my obsessive planning and preparation has paid off because everything is going off without a hitch. I come home from my workout, I go into my room and it's like, yep, there's the pajamas I laid out for myself and then I can grab them and then I can have the shower and I don't even have to think about um, color coordinating my pajamas and then the next morning I wake up, it's like, yep, there's the clothes I picked out for myself and I don't. And if I start to second guess it, where I'm like, oh, should I do? No, I don't even let myself do it. I say, no, the point of this was that I didn't have to make any decisions uh, in the moment. So, uh, yeah, it's working really smoothly. All of the meals I prepped for myself turned out just fine. I haven't been uh, excessively hungry or uh, really that fatigued for that matter. So everything is going smoothly, but I am pretty relieved that I have tomorrow off and I can't wait to spend the whole day moving, <laughs> exercising, and standing, and uh, I'm not going to sit down at all tomorrow. Uh, I will just enjoy the wonderful, wonderful freedom of standing. And uh, I guess just to finish off this video, there's a dream I forgot that I had a few days ago that I really wanted to share because, of course, it was again sort of about bison, sort of about Elk Island. Um, but what was really cool this time is there was like an animal that was a moose bison hybrid. So it was like, I mean, I don't know, I don't know how that like mating or whatever would work. And it's not like my subconscious really thought about that process of it, but I was on a path at Elk Island and there was a herd of this mixture of a moose and a bison um, and they, they were walking on past me. I had to go into the trees so that they could walk by me and I thought that was really cool. I mean the concept of that I think would be really cool because they're both the most wonderful, um, kind of like, I don't know what the I don't know what the word is, but they're like the powerful beasts um, of, of, I like the Canadian wildlife. And I used to always be jealous of Africa because they got things like hippos and stuff. But then I realized like, no, I'm so lucky that Canada has Canadian wildlife because we do have, we do have some really cool animals. Um, well, obviously that animal, that animal doesn't exist. Um, it's like pretty unnecessary. Like the Indominus Rex, like that stupid thing that they added to the new Jurassic Park stuff where they like created, ugh, they created a di- You know what? Dinosaurs are cool enough on their own. They didn't need to create and make up a dinosaur that didn't even exist. That is so annoying. That wasn't- they could have just kept doing T-Rex. They could have just kept doing T-Rex and I would have happily just watched 
than being constantly taste chased by T-Rex. I didn't need the Indominus Rex. I mean, you can throw in some different kinds in there and stuff, but I don't need fake ones. It's so unnecessary. So, I guess if I think about it that way, like this creature of a moose bison hybrid isn't necessary because each of those creatures on their own is very cool and very badass. But obviously, I didn't have control over what my subconscious, my subconscious probably said, oh, this is really cool. Um, but now that I'm thinking about it as an awake person, no, it's making me angry about the Indominus Rex and the unnecessarily slaughtering different things in Jurassic Park. Uh, you know, it's just, ugh. And all that stupid stuff where they had all these dinosaurs up for auction in this, like, basement of this mansion, and that was so stupid! Oh, I don't know why they did that. Um... Anyways, I mean, I'll just always be a diehard fan of Jurassic Park. It's the greatest movie of all time. Like, the original Jurassic Park is the greatest movie ever made. Um, I just don't know why they did a bunch of stupid shit. Oh, stupid stuff with any of the new stuff. I don't care. I mean, it's not like I hate Chris Pratt, but I also don't think, like, Oh my god, I love Chris Pratt. This movie is so good because Chris Pratt is, like, training velociraptors. It could have done so much more cool stuff. Um, anyway, but... Every, if they ever make a Jurassic Park movie, Jurassic World movie, I will always be one of the first people to watch it, no matter how stupid it gets, no matter what they do. Uh, I just like dinosaurs. I like them so much. Okay, bye!